Hey everybody, Derek here from Elevated Jeeps. Thank you for coming back. Uh, this is part three of a three-part series where we're talking about wrecked Jeeps. Uh, today might be a little anticlimactic, uh, but we're talking about uh, the different title statuses. So first I'm gonna talk about Indiana, simply that's because that's where we are. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit about some of the other states. But in Indiana, it's as simple as this. You have a salvage title, a rebuilt title, and a clean, clean and clear, depends on how you wanna talk about it. But salvage title is that. It, it is, your vehicle is wrecked or a theft recovery. And salvage title simply means you cannot drive it on the road legally and you cannot insure it as far as I'm aware. So when we get in uh, a wrecked Jeep, it generally is in a salvage status. So what I have to do here in Indiana is there's a uh, basically a, a packet that you have to go through and like you're telling them the VIN, you're telling them uh, basically what parts it took to rebuild the vehicle. So in this case, you know, we'll put down hood, fenders, blah, 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 uh, receipts if applicable. And uh, we have to have it inspected by um, local authorities. And the, the vehicle actually does not get inspected. We do not have inspections here in Indiana like some states do with like emissions and all that stuff. But anyway, so I get that paperwork signed. Um, the cop checks it out and I send that packet into the state and they go through it. And if everything checks out, uh, they then issue a rebuilt title. And if you saw in the last video, uh, in Indiana, you can fully insure a rebuilt title, uh, a rebuilt vehicle. Um, and so, uh, really that that's as, as easy as that is. Um, you can, if you're, if you're looking to buy one, again, I, I highly recommend you check out Carfax uh, because there's some, there are some instances where a vehicle can be wrecked, but not totaled, smashed up pretty good, and it still have a clean title. Now there might be a little bit of argument and, and I don't wish to participate because I, I don't know, but um, you know, Clean, what, what does clean really mean? What does clear really mean? Um, I don't know. It, it, what you're looking at on the title, there's a section that says branded. And if it doesn't say anything, then it's technically clean. But again, it could still have uh, accident history. So you just wanna check that out when you're, when you're looking. Um, so now, uh, so we're real close to Michigan, uh, maybe 15 miles from Michigan. And Michigan, I don't, I don't pretend to understand, but they have different colors for the, their titles. They have a green title and a blue title, and I always get w which one can fi uh, <laughs> fixed, confused. Um, I think blue is clean and green is rebuilt, maybe. Um, so there's that. So they so the different states uh, they have. Uh, there I've seen reconditioned titles. Uh, uh, rebuilt salvage titles, which I don't super understand that, but uh, I have a buddy in North Carolina actually, and uh, he said that to own a rebuilt vehicle there, like you, I don't can't insure them all the way, I don't know. But um, here in Indiana, we're good. I can sell them to other states. Funny enough, um, I have sold a couple to Michigan where they're rebuilt, a title here, but they get to Michigan and they, their BMB is called the SOS, I think. Um, and something happens there and then they have a clean Michigan title. So going from state to state or going from rep to rep, whoever's doing your paperwork, maybe it can be different. Maybe somebody didn't care that day. I don't know. So just be, uh, just be armed with that knowledge. Depending on your state, you'll probably have to look into that. But um, again, from one of my other videos, uh, just 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 find somebody that that you can work with who um, is upfront with you about 
what happened to the vehicle. Um, again, if, if something doesn't feel right, just walk. But um, I've bought a bunch, I've sold a bunch and have repeat customers and everything so far has checked out just fine. So anyway, so really that's, that's all there is to that. Um, I do want to say, uh, we've got a new Jeep coming to the channel. Um, I sold my khaki TJ that was racked, rebuilt title. And so that's why we're not kind of sitting in front of it talking. And I'm daily driving my uh, LJ here on 37s. It just turned 300,000 miles. But anyway, we got a new Jeep coming, super exciting. Um, I'm gonna start another series. It's kind of a run on of this series, but um, basically what it, what it takes to buy one from an insurance auction. Um, so really excited to show you guys that one. Um, but it is on its way across country right now. Uh, I haven't seen it other than pictures, which I don't normally anyway. Um, but to, I guess, give you a little nugget here is like, I'll show you what, it, what, it, what I do in an, in an insurance auction, what I'm looking for, but really you can apply this to anything you're bu buying on the web, marketplace, eBay, you know, whatever. Uh, so really excited to show you guys that. That will probably drop oh, next week sometime. This week was crazy. But um, so yeah, anticlimactic, like I said. Uh, but hopefully that is something helpful for you guys. If you have any other wrecked Jeep questions, hit me up. Uh, again, no expert, but what was it? 34 or 35 of them that I've owned. Uh, I've sold every one of them so far. So um got a little bit of experience. So thank you guys for tuning in and uh, we'll talk to you on the next video. Take care.